So today we're going to play with three different backgrounds using the same color paints. Uh, purple, turquoise, white, yellow, uh, Van Dyke brown hue. And using them in different um, techniques and different order, uh, it is easy to create some fun backgrounds with limited supplies. So, there we have it. These are on canvas, acrylic paints, sponges, splatters, credit card brushes, and fun. I'm going to be playing on canvases today. I have a brush and Mod Podge and assorted old book pages. I call these underpants. I start every piece with old book pages down first. Gives me a chance to bond with the piece and add energy immediately out of the gate. So with Mod Podge and old book pages, I'm going to cover this canvas. I am going to put Mod Podge around the edge and wrap that. We're going to concentrate on this background, but I'm going to also play with that a little bit. I have gesso on here. Apply a generous coat of gesso. I'll take this piece, lay it on top, push that canvas down, and we're creating texture. So this is the piece that we're going to play with, but this is yummy as well. So we'll set that aside, and we will let this one dry. All right, the colors I'm going to play with on this, green, gold, purple, and turquoise, white, and yellow. Bring the purple in first. Paint that background and let that layer dry. I'm going to bring in a piece of sandpaper. This is pretty coarse. It's a 60, 60 grit and tear that up. Okay, gorgeous texture. I'm going to bring in the turquoise. And a gift card or a credit card. that dry. Hit that with the sandpaper and in the yellow, my credit card or gift card. Paper towel. Pick up some of that paint. And let that dry. Bring that turquoise back in. Put a little bit on my workspace, dilute that, paint some of that turquoise paint onto the bubble wrap. I have some white acrylic and this screen, kind of a wide screen, and a makeup sponge. I'm going to put that screen down there and add some noise to the background with that white. We'll let that dry. Bring in some Van Dyke Brown Hue and my gift card or credit card. Make some markings. Let that dry. I'm going to bring the sandpaper back in and rough this up a little bit. I'm going to bring in some pearl magenta. That's gorgeous. And a circle maker.
So the background is all done. I'm just going to grab something off my desk and put it on there. I'm not going to glue it on, but you can see how a focal point would work on that piece. So there's background number one. All right, here's where we blotted the gesso. We're going to use the same colors, uh, just a different technique. I'm going to put some purple on here. Dilute that with some water. Paint that onto the piece. Blot that with a paper towel. Get some texture going already. And let that dry. Bring in the turquoise. Using the same colors. Let that dry. I'm going to bring in a finer sandpaper and just bring up some of that uh, gesso texture. Bring in some of that yellow. Dilute it down. We want it juicy with pigment, but also juicy with water. I have 91% alcohol at the ready. And I will take my alcohol. Drip some drips on there. And we'll let that dry. A bit of the fine sandpaper. Bringing a stencil in and some of that rose color that we used on the last piece because we're using the same colors. And just adding some color here and there. Beautiful. Taking my credit card or my gift card, putting some white acrylic paint on it. And we'll let that dry. Okay, so the only color that's not represented on here that we used on here would be the Van Dyke brown hue. So I'm going to bring in a stencil with some tiny dots and a makeup sponge and just add a little bit of noise with those dots. There we go, background number two. All right, and look at how different they look. Same colors, same canvas, and yet they look so different. So let's see that with our, just as beautiful. For our third one, I'm gonna bring in that stencil that we just played with, keeping our supplies at a minimum. I'm bringing in some homemade texture paste, spreading that over that stencil. And we will let that dry. Bring in that turquoise, use that for a base coat. Let that dry. I'm going to bring in my sanding block. This is a coarse sandpaper and I'm going to go over the dots. Take some of the purple paint, just dilute that. Let 
let that dry. I'm going to sand this just in a couple of places. Bring in the yellow, dilute it, and we're going to splatter. And we'll let that dry. Bring the white paint and a credit card in. And we'll let that dry. Bring in my stencil and the pearl magenta or rose color. Beautiful. Let that dry. So the only color that's missing on here, once again, is the Van Dyke brown hue. So I'm going to dilute some of that. Stand my art piece on end. And drip some of that down. And we'll let that dry. So here are the three backgrounds that we created using the same colors on every piece. And they are so different and so beautiful. So let's just pretend that this is our one of our focal points. So this is how she would look on this. Plenty of noise going on over there. That's great. Um, this is how she would look on here. She needs some low lighting. Still beautiful around the edge. And here she is on this piece. So with a little bit of finagling, she would work on each and every background. All right, your turn. Go create, go play, go have fun.